Hey everybody, Big Yankovich here, podcaster, author, and carnivore. It is Monday, December 25th, 2023, and it is week 30 of my journey to Wonderland using carnivore and one meal a day fasting this week. Um, I guess it's time to just jump into those daily videos and let's see how things are going here on Big Anklevich on health. Hello everybody, it is Monday morning and today is a uh, all roast day for this <laughs> for this week. We'll see how long I can go before I run out of roast, but uh, Right now, uh, I am having roast. I had a big old plate of it. You can see here, roast and eggs. That's what I'll be doing uh, all week long uh, until I run out. I do have backup uh, container of ground beef in case I run all the way out before the week is over. So we shall see how it works. Um, but yeah, that's what I did today. And it was super tasty and I'm super stuffed. So hopefully it turns out to be good. Okay, hello everybody. It is Tuesday and um, it looks like the whole retaining water thing has passed. <laughs> I peed like crazy yesterday and dropped a bunch of weight back down to where I should be. And so it looks like the roast and eggs thing is already working. And I'm working on some more roast and eggs. Another day, here we are. It is Wednesday and I am sticking to my plan so far. I had a bunch more roast and six more eggs this morning. And that was my food for the day. And uh, my weight is holding steady down at that spot that it was at before. The four pounds of water weight are gone. So that's good. And uh, we will see, you know, how it goes for the rest of the week. I won't know really. Aside from stepping on the scale, what's happening? Because I'm not measuring my ketones. So we'll see how it is. It is now Thursday. And uh, today I took a little break from the roast. I decided to just have myself a bunch of hamburger patties along with my eggs, of course. Um, so I had six eggs and six quarter pound hamburger patties. And they were oh, well, just really wonderful. They tasted great and uh, I enjoyed my food for the day. We'll see how this keeps going. Hopefully it, uh, it goes well. Okay, it is Friday, last work day before Christmas. Um, what did I do? Did I party? Did I have myself all sorts of candy? No, I didn't. I just had the same thing that I've been having all week. I had roast and eggs. Uh, a goodly amount of roast and six eggs is what I ate. And hopefully that is plenty. I'm, I'm a little wondering about that. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about how much protein that you have to get and all that kind of stuff to keep yourself from losing muscle in the process. And uh, I wonder if I've had any of that go on. I don't want that to happen. Uh, my plan about muscle is once I'm all the way down in Wonderland, then I'll start worrying about, uh, really worrying about getting the muscle, gaining the muscle back working on muscle and getting it up but you know i'd like to keep what i have all right here's another day's worth it is saturday which is the day before the day before christmas <laughs> and let me tell you I just got home do not go out there right now folks it is crazy uh the lines at places are so long it's not worth it um Although, uh, you know, as a side note, I did happen to see Santa Claus shopping at Kroger. So <laughs> that was fun. Uh, I took a little, I, I asked him if I could have a selfie with him and he was happy to oblige. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, I have to say that I am proud of myself for today. I had my roast and my eggs this morning and that's all I've had. I have not succumbed to any of the temptations um and there have been a lot uh no big deal type temptations which wouldn't be that big of a problem like you know 
eating some ham or some sausage or something like that. Uh, I've been looking at that and thinking that sure looks good. Um, and then there are big deal ones like we've got Rice Krispie Treats up in the top of the closet, the cupboard, whatever. Um, pantry. I think that's what they call them. Pantry. Pantry for 500 What is pantry? Um, but yeah, uh, you know, those things, they still tempt me. Um, I still have the memories, the habits, uh, things aren't perfect for me. I know maybe it seems like they are because I just, you know, each week I'm back with more and oh yeah, I'm doing fine and I'm losing weight, but it's not always, uh, it's not always roses and sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes I've got to really buckle down and use some willpower. And, you know, you got to have some of that, but it's also important to plan to uh, succeed. So avoid the temptations. Don't be where the temptations will be if, if it's possible. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself and hopefully, you know, uh, I'll get something out of it. I'll get something for using that willpower. We shall see. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. All right, it is Sunday, which is Christmas Eve, and I'm pretty excited because this morning when I weighed myself to add into my average, I was actually under 220. I weighed 219.1, which is pretty exciting. That's the first time that I've gotten under 220 since probably, I don't know, when I was in college? <laughs> Very long time ago. Um, that means that I am lower than I ever got in 2019 when I did this the last time around. And um, yeah, it's going, uh, going pretty awesome. Although, <laughs> I probably ruined that today. I mean, it is Christmas Eve, so... Uh, you know, I guess that can be expected. But uh, I had roast and eggs for my breakfast. But then when dinner time came around, uh, my wife always makes um, clam chowder and hoagie sandwiches. That's her family's tradition, I guess. Um, I don't know. I think maybe the wise men brought that. Or I don't, I don't know where it fits in. <laughs> but anyways... <laughs> Uh, that's what she made, and I wound up eating slices of ham, pieces of bacon, uh, pieces of salami, that kind of crap, and late, too, late in the day. So, I'm pretty sure that that's going to kill the great progress that I've been making, but that's okay. I did the same thing last week, and then, you know, rain it back in, and all the water weight will come back off. And you can be back where you were before. So it won't be long before I get back to 219 again. But I'm kind of mad at myself for blowing it. I've done so well. I did so well yesterday. And then here I am today blowing it. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how we can do tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to work on Christmas Day. So maybe I'll do better than I did today when I was at home. Because generally I can do a lot more bad stuff when I'm at home. So, but yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, I guess uh, I'll send you over to Big Anglovich, who will tell you the whole wrap-up. Okay, there you go. That's the uh, the week of Christmas, or at least the week leading up to Christmas. I guess Christmas is today. Um, but that's not going to fall into this week's video. It falls into next week's video. So, uh, how did it go? Well, I think it went pretty darn well, to tell you the truth. Christmas is one of those just terrible uh, times as far as eating goes. It's like 90% of the traditions of Christmas are all based around food. And so super easy to fall into, uh, you know, one craving or another because they're all there. And I was tempted, I have to admit. I think I said that in one of the weekly videos uh, or daily videos. I guess this is the weekly video. But yeah, I was, I was tempted by some of that stuff. I looked at it and I thought, ooh, I really like to eat that stuff. I should get out of here before <laughs> the 
temptation takes me any further. Um, so, uh, it was okay. It was pretty good. I did all right. But uh, I did uh, fall prey to eating some stuff that I normally wouldn't um, right there at the end. Uh, it's funny that those things are now things that I normally wouldn't eat. I mean, it's just meat. It's just ham, pepperoni, uh, bacon even. I've gotten to the point where I don't know if I should be eating bacon anymore. Um, I think you can get away with it when you, when you begin. You know what I mean? Like, the stuff that you're eating is so bad that anything is an improvement. Um, but bacon has a lot of ingredients in it that uh, probably uh, could cause problems. And now that I'm here and I've come this far, I've lost 70 pounds now, that's, that's weird, you know, that's a lot. Uh, and once you do that, your body is in a different place. And if you want to keep making progress, you probably have to take things a little bit further. And so, that's, uh, that's what I've had to do. So, how has it gone this week? Well, uh, it's gone pretty good. I mean, I ate roast the whole week through. Roast and eggs was pretty much all that I had, aside from yesterday. And uh, I did pretty well. Um, I started out this week with the average weight of 224.7. And when I'd gone through the whole week, even with my uh, bad average from the very last day, after eating all of that lunch meat yesterday, I am now averaging 221.6. Which means that this week I came down 3.1 pounds. And that gives me a total of 68. Point two altogether. So uh, I think it went pretty well and I think I really kind of know the strategy, what it is that I need to do to, uh, to really have some success. Probably at the start of this week I need to uh, get it under control, although it may have to be the Tuesday and not uh, Monday because Monday is Christmas and I'm sure I'll do more stupid crap. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll have to start eating something pure, eating only, uh, you know, just meat and salt. Not something that's been, you know, processed like lunch meat, ham, bacon, that kind of stuff. Uh, I think, it, sadly, I've gotten to that point that I kind of have to let go of bacon a little bit. I can't have it very often anymore because... It, uh, it's stalling my progress if I do, so it has to be a, a special treat. Um, anyways, uh, that is where we're at, and it'll be another weird week because it's, you know, still vacation week. Um, Christmas is part of this week, and New Year's Eve is part of this week. Last year I was doing really well all the way up until New Year's Eve, and that's when I totally broke down and gave in. So hopefully... Uh, I won't repeat the same thing. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going. That's what we're doing. And um, I'm going to see how it goes. I will uh, talk to you guys all again next week on Big Anglovich on Health.